memerintah dengan berbelas kasihan serta pertimbang rasa kepada semua makhluk. Bahagian lima daripada lima di rancangan antara guru dan anak murid diadakan dalam bahasa Inggeris. Warning, sensitive content. You see, the law in the universe is that you are entitled to what you're worth. So whatever you're given, it's yours. You should not be envious or greedy of other people's properties or whatever is not yours. Yes, Mr. Yes, Master. Because if you take them, it's not legal. Just like if you steal things in the world, it's also illegal and the law will catch you. And will punish you accordingly. Yeah, oh, yes. that's right. That's right. Similarly, in the whole universe, there's also laws. If you take what's not given, then you will be punished also according to the seriousness of it. Mm. Then you will get the, the punishment sooner or later. Sometimes this is very soon. It's just that you don't realize it. Like you will get sick or seriously ill, you will suffer bodily, mentally, emotionally, and psychologically, uh, etc. But you will not know that is the result of your bad deeds. Like whatever bad deeds it could be. Mm. Uh, stealing things is just one of those things. And making war or coercing people to give up their property for you because you're stronger, you're bullying them. This is a very bad thing. Mm -hmm. And you might die sooner than your allotted years mm -hmm. for your life. Wow. So everyone should consider this. Nothing is worth your effort to possess it when it's not yours. Whatever is yours is yours. It will be given to you, whether you want it or not. Yeah, yeah. Right. Whatever is not yours, even if you want it, you should not take it, because the consequence is very great for you. Mm -hmm. That's why in all the religious orders and doctrines, the first five precepts include, thou shall not steal. Mm -hmm. That's That's stealing as many ways, you know. So whatever clever way you scheme to take over somebody else's rightly owned possessions, this is all stealing, and it's against the law of the universe. And sooner or later, the consequence will be very, very bad for you. And not just in this lifetime, but it could be in this lifetime. Like you could be ill, or you could be punished in different ways. If you are an ordinary person, then you'll be caught and you will be put in jail. Wow. But if you are so-called above the law because you're strong and you're a leader and you have some clever way to control the power and nobody dares do anything to you, still, you will suffer the consequence. Wow. Like you'll be ill very suddenly or you'll be gravely sick. And nobody even can find out what the curse is. Or even if they find out, they cannot cure you. Or it will be prolonged. Or you will die agonizingly or quickly before your time is up. Wow. So we should, we should respect all the laws of the universe. And it's very simply put in many of the main religions like in the five principles, right? Those are not kill, those are not steal, those are not take intoxicants, those are not tell lies, those are not uh, envious 
the neighbor's wife, for example, or steal the neighbor's wife, or try in you know, any way to seduce the neighbor's wife or husband, for example, like that. Yeah, that's yes. right. That's if right. you just simply put, it could be extended or explained uh, in a much wider sense, just simply all the religion principles. That's enough for everyone to keep clean and to keep safe. Yes. Yes. Killing or eating animal people, the first people have to kill for you, is also stealing. It's a good way for sin because you steal their lives. Mm. So everyone should think about it. Keep the five simple precepts so that if you are reborn again as a human, you'll be happy, safe, healthy, and have everything you need. Yes. The story is very clear anyway, right? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, similar to many stories in Buddhism, Buddha told many stories about karma eh? and the consequence of bad deeds and good deeds. Some good deeds also will manifest many lifetimes even. Yes, yes. Even just one kid who gave one of the Buddhas just uh, some stone offering with heart, he will be also rewarded many lifetimes with richness. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Yes. Okay, my love, I will stop now before the telephone stops by itself again. Ah, uh, I see. Understand. Any questions? Any comments? I'm wondering the king didn't go to find a ghost. <laughs> like, he heard the story, the ghost gave the pot, and uh, the king didn't like, oh, I, I should look for the ghost myself. <laughs> oh, you want him to go to find the little devil? But uh, what for? He has no reason. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it's not spontaneous anyway. Mm-hmm. So suppose he goes to the devil, he, the devil will not give him anything. The old man was poor and the devil knows that. Uh-huh. Yeah, And for that old man, one peanut is very, very valuable to him because he's hungry and he has no money. Mm-hmm. Right. I understand. Yes, Master. And he was screaming, yelling, because he feels so sorry that he lost his last peanut, his food. Mm-hmm. But if the king goes there, well, what will he yell for? He can't just buy a peanut <laughs> <You know? laughs> candy and go there and pretend to lose the, the peanut in the well, no? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Even if he did that, the devil would know. Yes, yes master. master. Evidently, he knows things because the old man came and didn't know that the teapot was stolen from him, but the devil knew. Yes. yes. Mm. He told him that it was stolen. It was not his fault, remember? Yes, yes. Yes, yes that's right. So pretending is not the same as being genuine, okay? Mm. Yes. The old man was very simple. He reacted genuinely. He didn't pretend. Yes, yes, yes. yes was that? And so the devil knew that and also wanted to help him and felt sorry for him. That's all. Mm. The king could not do the same. Yes, right, master. Yes. Understand, master. All right, then. Anything else? No, no, no master. master. Thank you for sharing the story. Thank you for the story. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, master. I just thought maybe you've been working hard, so I thought uh, I'd give you a story. <laughs> Thank you, master. Thank you. Master. Thank you. Thank you. It's very Thank nice you. to hear. Because I don't have any peanuts or any teapot to give you. (laughs) (laughs) You have a lot of peanuts, right? (laughs) Yes, we can buy. You can't just tell me you have nothing. (laughs) (laughs) Don't lose any peanuts that you bought from the shop. Yes, Yes, master. Yes. I don't have any teapot to give you, but I give you many other things that money cannot buy and you cannot lose. Yes, master. Yes, master. master. Thank, Thank you, master. Thank you, master. The best gift. That's better, no? Yes, yes, yes That's it is. much better. Okay, all right. Talk to you next time and say hello to all of your friends, your colleagues, our team. Meanwhile, because I can't talk to all of them, they're in different places. By the way, I send my love to all of you. And may God protect you every day of your life as you contribute 
to happiness and the peace in this world as much as we can. Thank God and may God bless you. I love you. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. You know, uh, in a little while, it will be Mid-Autumn Festival. So, even though we are not together physically, but, uh, you know, I call you. And that also counts as a reunion. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And I wish all of you, my team, my association members, and all the world, beautiful Mid Autumn Moon Festival Day. Thank you, Master. To the Jia, Tung Chu Jie, Ping An, Pai Le, Chuk Moi Nui, Mok Ngay, Tết Trung Thu, Bình An, Va Hui Ve. And we thank God for everything that we still have in our lives. And we wish that soon the world will become peaceful and beautiful, like the moon, all round, all perfect in the sky. Thank you, God. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye, Master. Bye, Master. This command in the Bible's book of Genesis to follow a vegan diet is part of the commission God enjoins on humankind of responsible stewardship. The Reverend Father Chris Moore, vegan.